Hi everyone, I'm Nancy and thanks again for joining me. I adore that you stop in to visit from time to time. To my subscribers, my viewers, thank you so much. I appreciate you more than you know. If you are new to my channel, I hope that you click on that little red subscribe button over there. I would love to have you come back and join me for future videos. I hope everyone gives this video a thumbs up. Your comments, of course, are always appreciated and I just uh, I just love being able to chat with a few of my subscribers and it's just it's just so fun to kind of build up these friendships through YouTube. That is probably the best part of it for me. But anyway, it's Friday night. I have got some wine over here. Um, we have had a really strange week with thunderstorms and violent winds. Our building actually got hit by um, by lightning on Wednesday at work. It was just about closing time. Just about everyone had uh, left for the day. And um, I was just kind of saying, well, you know, I want to get out of here early. It's pouring rain. I just want to go home. And so I was, as I was going through the building to make my rounds to make sure all the doors were locked. Um, anyway, I heard this big boom. I looked over and smoke just started pouring out of one of the transformers against the wall where we have the machines plugged into. So I'm calling, you know, for the, my bosses were still there. So I'm yelling at them to come and help. And uh, actually one of the engineers came out that was still there. He was on his way out the door and he heard me and came running off. He just kind of sprang into action and pulled down the lever, 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 shut the uh, power off to the machine. and. Uh, anyway it was it could have been a lot worse say in five minutes had everyone been gone or if i was still there by myself and i called 911 for help it would have been five to ten minutes maybe before they got there to help me and uh, who knows what damage could have been done to to everything so just a and then of course when that happened we lost power to half the building but not all of the building um, but anyway, we all shut down. We we hung around. Well, actually, I had a couple of cocktails uh, before we went home just to make sure that nothing else uh, happened. And uh, we went home, got a call a couple hours later. It was the uh, alarm company had uh, called in that um, um, it, it's the alarms were uh, just going off at work. So um, I'm the closest. So I went in and by then none of the power even all our emergency lighting was off so it was it was pitch black in there so i'm in there with my phone and of course here come the police to check on this uh, flashlight going around the dark building so they just kind of walked around with me just to make sure everything was uh, set again and of course i couldn't set the alarm because of the power uh, locked the doors and went home but yeah that was a fun week and of course today's friday um and we've got more thunderstorms we've got it was just pouring rain and hail uh we're under a tornado watch so if you hear i've got a siren maybe a quarter mile from my house so you, we may hear that going off it's gone off a few times but as far as i know nothing's uh touched down close by me so anyway just wanted to get this done so that's a little bit of background in case all of a sudden you hear the siren and boom i'm off like a flash uh to go downstairs but anyway it's friday i got my bottle of wine Kayla, don't be jealous. I have got my new wine glass. Let's see if I can show this in all its beauty. It's from Robin with a Y. I actually found her through Facebook and she has a website and she does these glasses. So look at the Swarovski crystals on these. You know I love them. There's even some crystals on the stem of the glass. And it says clink, clink and witches. But instead of witches, there's a bee there. But anyway, this is my wine glass. I'm having some wine haven la croissant and to me it's kind of dry but the description is a semi-sweet wine with tropical fruits some uh melon and some peach and it's just um i love it it's really really good so i'm going to have a sip and then i'm going to get it by simply gilded but i am loving my robin with a wine robin with a y wine glasses so anyway, the kit from Simply Gilded this month is called Lullaby Moon. And if the inside of the box is as beautiful as the outside of the box, we are in for a treat. So anyway, I'm going to turn the camera down, show this. And again, I uh, Simply Gilded. This uh, is a monthly subscription. And once you sign up, you're signed up until you decide to cancel. It's $30 a month. I also get some added washi, some of the four, uh, four five millimeter washi. And that adds an extra six dollars so anyway i hope that you stick around and join me as we check this out all righty so i got the pouch out of the bag everything is in the pouch this month and it's a beautiful baby blue shade 
this vegan leather pouch. It's got a nice, pretty scalloped edge right here. It's got a little silver heart, a little clutchet string right here, or ring right here so that you can put something on it, or, or maybe a wristlet if you were going to carry it as a purse. And, oh, this is so cute. I don't know if this is showing up. It's like a mama owl and a baby owl just on some branches. So it's pinks and blues. Just so, so cute. And let's get everything out and see what we have. Alrighty, so everything is out. Let's kind of spread it out so we can see what we have here. What do we want to do first? So first, I guess we'll do this washi because it looks like that is probably... Oh, and of course you get this card. It tells you everything that's in this kit. And this is actually the July box, so... It's the middle of August, so my kid is probably going to be shipping soon, so I thought I'd better hurry up and get this one done. So that's everything that's in this kit. And first we'll start with the washi. And her, the Simply Gilded washi is just so, so pretty. And then I get uh, an adder uh, for $6, and it's uh, four of the 5 millimeter washi. And that's the one I, I actually use the most. The larger washi I use when I use kits. Um, or leftover kits that I don't have the washi strips on top. So first, let's do my adder for $6. So hopefully this will focus. And yes, I, I have to do my nails again. Maybe I'll do my nails before my next. Alrighty, so we got like a baby pink washi strip with some silver hearts. Then we have a silver with some white hearts. And my... I don't know if it's showing up on the video, but my camera keeps blinking at me again. And then I got another baby blue with some silver vines going through it. And then like an ombre on the bottom here that's got some stars, some foiled stars, and then it's like pink to blue. So just very, very pretty. And this is two of the washi that came with it. And one I'm going to open up. This is a, it looks like it's perforated so that you can use it as header strips or dividers. And then the other one, and so I'm, I'll open this one up at the end so I can show you what it looks like. But it looks like it's probably perforated too with the different subjects on it, like to clean. We just saw meal planning, laundry. So I'll open that up at the end. And... Maybe I'll do the same for these ones too, just so that we can kind of get an idea of what they look like. So just all kinds of things right here. So this bottom one here is like a baby pink again, and it's got like a, well, I'll go back to that one. It uh, bounced off the table, kind of like, you know, and I just saw that on Facebook this week that someone uh, was doing on top of old spaghetti and then you sneezed and the meatball fell off. So that's just what that reminded me of. But anyway, we've got these uh, these two here with the matching colors, just a large one and a small one, and uh, just with the foiled bows on it. And then this one is so, so pretty. I don't know if you'll be able to see it through the foil, but I'll open up and spread a little bit of it out at the end just to try to get a better look, I think. Sometimes with the uh, cellophane on it, just really can't see what it looks like but this one looks like it's going to be very very pretty the one that uh, rolled off the table and i didn't even sneeze was kind of like a baby pink um with uh, like musical staff and things like that on it and we've got this and uh what are they calling it so this is a deluxe no confetti tape kit I'm not exactly sure what this one is, so let's open it. I got this little bag of confetti. So there's some foiled moons and stars in here. Well, very, very pretty. I don't know what, what you'd use to it. Maybe if you use some glitter glue or maybe you pack in boxes to put it as um, like in part of a gift or something just to make it nice and sparkly. And then this is just the card that it came in with the foiled moons and stars. And I don't think this has got the cellophane on it, so let's see if I can find where it opens. But this looks like a foil overlay. 
You see, it's got the uh, boiled moons and stars on it. So we'll open some of that up and put it on some white backing at the end. We got a foiled journaling card, and I'm not exactly sure what people do with these. Uh, you know, I think if I was going to use this in my planner, it would take up the whole page. But maybe if you've got a larger journaling card and you want to take up some room, maybe that's what people do. Or if you have like a five by seven frame or something, you can put that in just as a little decoration tab. So, but I love it. I love the shade of blue. It's like that ombre effect. It almost kind of gives like a velvety type effect and then of course with the foiling and the flowers it's just really really pretty we have got this little pink bow with a clip and then the musical staff here at the bottom with the crystal just really cute and well, you could hang this on your planner or if it was faster I would have this done already I put it on backwards but you could put it on the uh, clip on the pouch Let's see if I can put it on the right way it's like you got a 50 50 chance of putting it on the right way it's kind of like that USB thing that you have on your computer and no matter which way you do it it's wrong but it, you flip it around and it's the way that you tried to do it the first time so anyway you can use that on this uh, little pouch here so just a really really cute uh, she always gives you a b6 little journaling booklet with some papers in it and this one's uh, the back's got the uh, the musical uh, bars and design on it if I still read music, I could probably play that for you. I'm looking to see if I've got one of our planners here. And I do, but it's within. So this is one of the from Simply Gilded. So it would just fit in, in the book right here. So you could kind of create your own little journaling notebook. So that's very pretty. She also gives you like a, an acetate sheet and the vellum. I never know what people do with these. But they are pretty. And this acetate one is sticking. So the acetate has got the foiled. It's uh, clear with the foiled hearts. Not hearts, but the uh, moon and the uh, crescent moon and the stars. And then the vellum paper is that sweet... Uh, inside lining where it's got the baby owl and the mama owl with the pinks and the blues just very very pretty and how i use these ones on on other ones i've got i just put them around the book for the month because i, I don't know what other people do with them but anyway they are pretty if you know what to do with them and we've got uh, this pen here she always gives you one of these type pens just very very pretty this is uh, like the ombre shade again, so it's going from pinks to the blues with the foiled moons and stars on it. It's really pretty. I believe this gel pen, and I'll show this at the end too, is the uh, mystery item. So it's a gel ink pen, and we'll see what color. It looks like it's probably like this kind of silvery gray color, so we'll check that out at the end. And then for the sticker kit of the month, So we've got the, the date covers and some icons here, and it's all foiled in silver. We've got some more of the icons here. Some extra boxes, some half boxes, boxes, and I believe, no, nope, that's a full box there, some half boxes. And then some charting hearts here. We've got the uh, stickers here, the larger stickers in that crescent moon shape. That's just the foiling is just so, so pretty. And then for the kit here, so we've got two different weeks to cover the uh, date stickers, whether you do two separate weeks with this kit and use some of your own add-ons, um, or you can mix and match different days of the week, but you can still get two weeks out of it. 
some more of the boxes, some more charting, some icons here and the bows. And then some more boxes here, some more headers here, and then these uh, bows, the boxes, some ribbons here. So just very, very pretty. So anyway, I am going to shut the camera off, lay out some of the washi strips so that you can see what it looks like and the pins. I'll be right back.